In this video, I will be showing how to connect the PlayStation Access Controller to the Xbox and Nintendo Switch consoles using the Chronosen adapter. This will allow someone who's using the PlayStation Access Controller to play on the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox in addition to playing on the PS5. However, the buttons on the PlayStation Access Controller need to be remapped in order for you to play on other consoles. Typically, the PlayStation Access Controller requires button remapping only through the PS5 itself. However, there is a computer program now that allows you to remap the buttons on the PlayStation Access Controller using a PC. So you could remap them on your computer and then use them on whatever console you prefer. In the next part of the video, I will show how to remap the buttons on the PlayStation Access Controller using a button remapping software that can be used on the computer. Then I will show how to connect the PlayStation Access Controller after the buttons are remapped to the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch using the Chronosen adapter. Before you can connect your PlayStation Access Controller to the different consoles, you first must map the PlayStation Access Controller buttons to the desired buttons you want when you connect it to the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch. To do this, open the PlayStation Access Controller Profile Editor. The link to this is linked below the video. Then, plug your PlayStation Access Controller into your computer via a USB cable. Once it's plugged in, click Connect to Controller. Select your Access Controller, then click Connect. Now, you can map each profile based off of what controls you want mapped. For example, I can map the stick to the left or right stick. I can map the center button to any input I want. And I can map the other buttons to any button I want or any inputs. And I can do this for each profile on my PlayStation Access Controller. Once all my buttons are assigned, in addition to my button functions, if I want toggle or I want another button to activate when I activate a button on the PlayStation Access Controller, then I can click Save to Controller, and this will save all my button mappings on my PlayStation Access Controller. After you click Save, you can now go through the steps in the next part of the video to connect your PlayStation Access Controller to the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch console using the Chrono Zen. Now I'm going to show how to connect the PlayStation Access Controller to the Xbox using the Chrono Zen adapter. First, make sure that your Chronos Zen has the most up-to-date firmware and you're using the most up-to-date version of the Chronos Zen Manager program. After your firmware is updated, then you can begin connecting to the Xbox console. First, connect your Xbox controller that came with your Xbox to the side USB port on the Chronos Zen adapter. Then, take the cord that connects to the back of the Chrono Zen and plug it into the front of the Xbox console. Now let it boot up and your Xbox controller should turn on. Then plug your PlayStation Access controller into the front USB port of the Chrono Zen. Once it's connected, you should be able to use your PlayStation Access controller to control your Xbox console and all of your button mappings that you programmed in the PC program that I showed earlier in the video should work on the Xbox console. And that is how you connect the PlayStation Access Controller to the Xbox console. In the next part of the video I will show how to connect to the Nintendo Switch console. Before you can connect your Chrono Zen and PlayStation Access Controller to the Nintendo Switch, you first must turn on Pro Controller Communication Mode. In the next part of the video, I will show how to turn that on. Now that that setting is turned on, we can connect our Chrono Zen to our Nintendo Switch and use our PlayStation Access Controller on our Nintendo Switch console. 
Take the cord that plugs into the back of the Chronos Zen and plug it into one of the side USB ports on your Nintendo Switch console. Your Chronos Zen will boot up and plug in your PlayStation Access Controller to the front of the Chronos Zen adapter. Once it's boot up, you can begin to access the buttons and use your PlayStation Access Controller on the Nintendo Switch console. 